welcome back to my channel my name is Nadia and in today's video we'll see a small history of the sack dress and its variants so if this topic is of your interest then keep on watching the first and the main shape is the cocoon dress which is made by uniting two identical pieces of fabric by size and by shape and as a result we have that dress that barely touches the body is going down straight forward from head to the bottom there are no darts no tucks or cutting lines if the dress has some sleeves these are following the same concept as the dress itself so going down straight from the shoulders looking voluminous and straight to the bottom this dress is usually knee length or slightly lower the knee now the history tells us that in 1951 Cristobal Balenciaga has created the costume with the butterfly silhouette, a model that was warmly encountered by women, because women finally had, you know, that elegant and stylish garment allowing to hide some extra kilograms on the hips and on the waistline without feeling guilty or embarrassed. A similar creation launched another great designer of those times, Hubert de Givenchy, and in 1957 both designers uh, launched a, a collection of those cocoon dresses. Moreover, the highest popularity this dress got in the 70s and later in the 90s. And as we already know and see many times, fashion goes in cycles so in the latest years we had a comeback of these cocoon dresses so which would be the best accessories to pair with such a dress well first of all based on the dress length we must choose the size of the heel so if the dress is long length so until the floor the best would be to pair with a pair of flat uh, sandals or ballerinas while if the dress is knee length you can choose the high heel that you desire maybe excluding the wedges and platforms that with such a dress may look clumsy as for the purse uh, the most appropriate uh, shape and size would be the clutch yet another great accessory with such a dress would be um, wearing some gloves long until the to cover the elbows or on the contrary short and unique in style this modern dress is bold and avant-garde so wearing fine jewelry might not be the proper choice better point out wearing minimum pieces which can make a strong statement and you know balance up the look for example a max bracelet or some massive necklace made of a few chains or beads a variant of the cocoon dress would be the sack dress it covers all from the chest line and waist line to the knees so the entire dress is a rebellion against classical canons of femininity and sexuality therefore one must decide if to keep the rebellion feeling of such a dress and use it in the military style or grunge or on the contrary wear it with more feminine accessories and therefore transform the look into a casual style moreover there's also a third variant the so-called the shift dress characterized by mini length and a straight silhouette with no accent on the waistline and free on the hips line it got the name shift by symbolizing the changes in the society from the 50s to the 60s of the last century a period when american young generation was uh, expanding and reflecting independence and freedom of judgments all these loose fit dresses the cocoon dress the sack dress and the shift dress are discreet and elegant and meet the requirements of the minimalistic style which is clean and simple now the golden rule is saying that with a sophisticated dress 
choose simple accessories and on the contrary, with a minimalistic dress, choose something that is bold and statement. So makeup and hairstyle in these cases must be laconic also, clean and simple. But you know, fashion today is giving us the opportunity to expand and try something new and experiments so be bold and wear the kind of dress that you love i love for example all three of them i have them in my wardrobe and i consider them a good investment for you know everyday style and also for some occasions some special occasions and events so i want to share with you the small history of this silo dress I wanted also to share some of the current dresses that are made uh, that you can find today on the internet platforms. So get inspired, be bold, uh, be happy because fashion is giving you the you know the possibility to express yourself and wear what you feel is yours. Thank you for watching. I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you want to see other uh, hi small histories of dresses that are stylish and bold and, you know, speak for us, you know, women and give us the possibility to actually wear what we love and what we like. And also know something a little bit more about the history of their designs. In the meantime, stay well, stay safe, and we shall see each other on my next video. Ciao! Mwah.